Hello, welcome to Meals with Maria. Today we are working with, not a surprising thing, ranch dressing mix. You can get packets of these at the grocery store. You can buy this big thing at, usually I see them at like the big stores like Costco or BJ's or something like that. They are awesome. This seasoning is like a seasonal. It's like a seasonal salt, your choice of what you wanna add it to. And these recipes are fantastic. And the nice thing is, you don't have to add any other seasonings. So once you do that, it's not like you're taking out like tons of spice things. You're just using this, which keeps it simple, keeps your costs down. They are low ingredient meals and they are absolutely fabulous. So enjoy. We're gonna start off with a simple snack mix, but this is such an awesome thing to bring to like a potluck or a friend's house. If you're just hanging out, the kids love it. It's a great thing to also put like in little baggies for a birthday party. You wanna start off with a bag of bugles, a bag of pretzels, whatever kind you like. I kind of like the regular traditional little ones in this, and then one bag of goldfish. And then you want three tablespoons of ranch mix or one packet. I believe that three tablespoons equals one packet. And then we're just gonna pour about a half a cup of oil over the entire thing once everything is mixed together. And it's that simple. That's your snack mix. You can also add cashews to this. The initial recipe does say to do that, but because of our peanut allergy, I can't usually find cashews that have not been processed in a facility that uh, have peanuts. So unfortunately, no cashews for us, even though I think that would be absolutely delicious. So when you do add in that oil, you just kind of want to drizzle it over the top and start mixing. It does really help this ranch dress, ranch sauce to stick to the mix here. And I thought, is the ranch just going to all go to the bottom of this and just you're not going to have any flavor? Not the case. It really did coat everything really well. I made mine the morning that we were going to a friend's house, brought this over and all the kids had these like grabbed these like little plastic cups and ate it. And then my friends and I just kept munching on it all day too. So it was really delicious and uh, we, re we really enjoyed it. So it's just a, it's a simple thing to kind of zazz it up and do something different with some ranch dressing mix. This next recipe is for a ranch chicken quesadilla. And you know my husband was a fan because he says the quesadilla is the absolute perfect food. You wanna start off with two thirds a cup of salsa in a warm pan. To that, we're gonna add one third a cup of sliced green onions and two and a half cups of shredded cooked chicken. I think I probably had less than two and a half cups of shredded cooked chicken. So just use what you have. I was just using the left leftovers of what I had. And then you want three tablespoons of the ranch dressing mix or one packet, I believe is the same. And then you just wanna mix all that together. So super interesting to mix all of this together, but it worked out so well in a quesadilla. I also think that you could alternatively use some canned chicken here and that would be absolutely fine. So whatever you have to make it work, you could even probably put like some steak in it if you had leftover steak. So this is a great leftover recipe, but it's a great way to also use some ranch seasoning. And it's, it's so delicious. I love that when you use the ranch seasoning like this and you're heating everything through and it's warming up that you don't have to use really any other flavors. That combined with the salsa is a phenomenal flavor and it's enough as it is. Then you wanna take a quarter cup of butter melted and put that over the back of a tortilla. And then you wanna place that tortilla the butter side down on a baking pan. So I, I thought I was gonna be able to fit these on one, but then I'm like, it really doesn't fit. So I ended up breaking it up between two baking sheets. And then you wanna use shredded Monterey Jack cheese, just a couple of cups of that. And you wanna put about a half quarter to a half a cup over each tortilla. It depends on the size of your tortilla or how many you're making. I ended up making like two large quesadillas out of this, but you can definitely make more. I think the recipe calls for six eight inch tortillas and i used two i think like 12 inch tortillas so it just depends and i used a little less chicken as well so you put the chicken mixture once it's warmed all the way through right over the top of the cheese and i think also the recipe said put half on each like and then fold it over and i wasn't paying attention because that if you if you follow me and you know i don't always read the whole recipe the whole way through before i make something i just assume which is not very smart so then i rolled it over and i realized okay i'm, I'm folding it over i can put it on the seam pan so <laughs> however way whatever way you want to do this however many quesadillas you want to make 
the filling is the same, right? You want to put butter on the outside. You want to put your chicken and your cheese on the inside. I think cheddar would be great with this. So like whatever you have for cheese is going to be just fine. And then you're also going to make a ranch sour cream, which is kind of the icing on the cake for this. Take one tablespoon of ranch mix and mix it in with about a cup of sour cream. And this makes an amazing, they're like, my kids are like, is this ranch dressing? I'm like, no, it's ranch sour cream. It's even better than ranch dressing. Why not? Why not have that with your quesadilla? Uh, so it really kicks things up a notch. This is a great thing to serve with it. And it really adds that ranch flavor. You want to bake those quesadillas in the oven at 375 degrees for about 9 to 11 minutes. Mine took about 11 minutes and they were super crispy. A lot of times I like to cook my quesadillas on the stove and do it that way, but I was surprised at how crispy they came out in the oven and then I sliced them up and served them and they were phenomenal. These are going to be on the list from now on. The next recipe is for a ranch parmesan dinner roll which were so amazing. So the recipe calls for two like loaves of bread frozen and then you kind of break it up, which I was not able to find frozen bread dough, but I did find these Rhodes rolls. So I'm following the instructions on the back of the package and I just put them in a nine by 13 pan to rise in the refrigerator overnight. And then the next day I set them on the counter to rise for another hour and in the meantime I am making the mix that I'm going to put on top of them. So I'm using a melted half a cup of butter with one cup of grated parmesan cheese and one envelope of the buttermilk ranch salad dressing which is three tablespoons and you want to mix all of that together really well. And the recipe has you rolling the rolls right into that mixture. Now my rolls at this point were they were too puffy and I didn't want to deflate them basically. So I just decided to spread the mixture right over the top of the rolls. And then I put a little bit of sprinkled, I sprinkled a little bit of minced onion. So you want one small onion, finely chopped. I probably used quite a bit less than that. And then just sprinkled that over the top of the rolls. And then you want to cook them in an oven at 350 degrees until golden brown for 20 to 25 minutes. Mine was closer to 25 minutes just to make sure that they were fully cooked all the way through. But they were a huge winner. I made this for my stepmom's birthday and she was like, I need the recipe. These rolls are phenomenal. These are amazing. I need to know more about them. <laughs> and I'm like, you'd be surprised. They're frozen dinner rolls. I've never worked with the Rhodes rolls before. So I loved it. I thought this was a great way to use ranch seasoning. And like I said, with the ranch, you don't have to use any other seasonings because it has everything in it and it makes it super, super easy. I think if you have like a great dinner roll recipe, this will work with anything. You could probably even buy like those take and bake rolls and do it that way. Thank you so much for being here today. I hope you appreciated these ranch recipes and got some good ideas to use up those packets in your cabinet or the shaker like I have. Make sure to like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to share your favorite ranch seasoning recipes down in the comments. Make sure to click on this next video to see some amazing marinades. That is where you see that steak in that picture before from my stepmom's birthday. They are so budget friendly and you're going to love them.